Hi, how are you? Wow, it's been a minute since I've talked to you. There's so much that's been happening, so much been going on. I can't wait to actually share and just uh, be with you guys again every Thursday night at eight o'clock. Um, you know, so many times we, you know, we, we put in our minds what we want to do and have goals and then we put it off and put it off and put it off. And sometimes you just have to do it. You just have to do what you say you're going to do. Uh, there's so many of you that even ask me, Sharon, you, your Facebook lives, where you been? And if you come on, just, uh, let me know that you're there. Say hi. So I can say hi back. Um, and I was like, wow, you know what? I didn't know that people would actually miss the Facebook Live. So uh, something happened to me uh, just yesterday and I received a book and the book is called The Saith God's Word. Now, the the interesting thing about this book is that it's for it's for life coaches and counselors and it's on a whole bunch of topics, guys, like alcoholism, backsliding, comfort, Cults and occults, death, uh, discouragement, uh, faith, family, fear, finances. It's, it's on a whole bunch of topics. So I'm always one that, you know, when God uh, gives me something or puts me in a direction and the prayer was, Lord, what am I going to talk about? Hey, Carlos, how you doing? And I was like, well, I, I want to just pray about it and ask God what to talk about. And wow, all of a sudden I was given this wonderful book that helps me with a bunch of uh, human conditions and what God says about it. So what I'm going to do is a series called Thus Saith God's Word, and I'm going to handle every topic in this book and give you what this book says God's word is about it. So it's doing several things. It's helping me learn the Bible. And I want to assist us, anyone that's interested with learning what God says about certain human conditions that we deal with every day. I mean, I promise you depression, fears, uh, any kind of addictions that we may have. Um, I just couldn't believe that all of these topics were in here uh, talking about marriage and and protection and salvation and what even to do about sleep. I mean, there's so many topics in this book. Literally, I can go through this book and do something every Thursday at eight o'clock for a very long time. So that's what I'm going to do for 2021. I'm going to do it. Thus saith the Lord God's word uh, series. And I'm going to start the first topic. Now, the first topic is going to be talking about alcohol. And so we'll talk about that on next Thursday at eight o'clock. And the reason why we're going to handle it one topic at a time, we're really going to dive into it. We're going to look at what this book says, God says about it. And I want some feedback. I want some, you know, let's just have a discussion. You know, I'll, if you have a question and things of that nature on that particular topic, we're going to talk about it. But in my business called It's All About You, and coaching individuals and helping them deal with what they're dealing with in the world. I just feel like this book is going to assist me with the guidance needed. In addition to the structured life coaching that I have learned, I think adding God's word to it is going to enhance the knowledge that we all can have about what to do about what we're going through. So I wanted to just, first of all, thank all the people who contacted me and said, Sharon, I need you. <laughs> and I want to thank the Lord and thank Ann Brown for coming to me yesterday and handing me this book. It has been an absolute enlightening information. I'm excited about it, actually, because, you know, when you pray for something, you never know when you're going to get it. And uh, Mr. Dudley often talks about, you know, the power of a watermelon seed. And when you put a watermelon seed in the ground, what it does, it draws to it all that it needs to become a watermelon. <laughs> and I was not doing anything but just praying about God, what do you have me do in my life? 
Lord, what is your purpose for me? Now I have my own purposes and I have my own goals and I have things that I want to do. So let's be clear. But I had to step back for a minute for 2021. I had to refocus and I had to ask myself and ask the person who made me, what did you send me here on this earth to do? And I'm willing, just act like I'm three years old and whatever you give me to do, I'm going to use the gifts you gave me to do it. So I just looked at, you know, after having that prayer and, and, and fasting and doing a, um, you know, a lot of soul searching. And then this book comes to me, thus saith God's word. I was like, mm, one plus one equal two all day long. Yeah, I mean, it do. And I was like, wow. So I'm going to do what thus saith the Lord <laughs> and, and actually go through each week, eight o'clock on Thursdays one of the conditions in the book and we're going to talk about it discuss it and i'm gonna read to you god's word about it and i am just so excited about just you know just being able to share information learn as you're learning and being able to hopefully have you know a topic that we can discuss together in the future but i also wanted to leave with you some uh words of encouragement one COVID-19 is increasing, um, but we also wanted you to know that God is still in the blessing business. And as he's blessing others, as well as blessing you, that means he's in the neighborhood. I had one of my coworkers say, you know, I get excited when people start to tell me about blessings because that means God is in the neighborhood. That means he's just around the corner. He's peeking. So get excited about other people's blessings. Get excited about other things that are happening for other people, even if they're not happening for you. And if you if you just pray, just get excited as if it was you, you'd be surprised on how things will also start to happen for you. So I wanted to at least let you know that and also be intentional this year. Be a yes to God for 30 days. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a yes to God for 30 days. Whatever it comes to my head that, you know, an idea that uh, God gives me to do, I'm not going to sit on it. I'm going to be a yes and I'm going to get about it and do it and put that uh, just do it on the t-shirt, you know, just do it. Just walk and, and try to start whatever creative imagination that God gives you to do. He gave you that thought for a reason and just blow life into it. Do all that you can do to blow life into it. If he is telling you start an organization, if he's telling you to, you know, uh, go help some people, if he's telling you whatever he puts in your heart that you have a desire to do, go ahead and do it. I promise you, he will give you all that you need to get it done. Don't wait until I'm good at that wait until, well, I want to wait until the kids get out of college. Well, I want to wait until I lose a certain amount of weight. Well, I want to wait until, you know, maybe my finances are a little bit better. Well, I want to wait until, listen, weight broke the wagon down. Do not wait. Start tonight. Start putting ideas on paper. What can you do? right now and do what you can do and then the how to do the rest of it will come you will start being introduced to people that can help you do what you want to do you will start running into individuals that knows an individual that knows an individual that knows an individual who's doing what you're trying to do and y'all able to network and collaborate together so just know that you can accomplish whatever god has put in your imagination to do you just have to be willing to get started. The starting part is the hardest part. I remember working out. I mean, uh, the, the biggest thing for me was getting through the door of the gym. When I get through the door, I actually do work out and I work hard, but the hardest thing was getting started, getting there. So I want to encourage everybody. If you are procrastinating, stop it. It's a habit. Break it. If you are using excuses, stop it. It's a habit break it. If you are um, praising other people so that you are taken off the hook, stop it. You are brilliant. Embrace your brilliance and go ahead and just be who you know you are. You are. Don't do, you know, don't use excuses to be less than what you are. 
Make sure you be who you are and go ahead and blow life into what your reality is. So I'm going to I'm going to uh get started in, in this wonderful series. I'm hoping that this this series blesses somebody. Because for me to get this book that I wasn't even asking for, but yet I was asking for it because I asked the Lord, what do you want me to talk about? And then for him to give it to me. Hey, Catherine Carter, good to see you. Uh, Just say hello, guys, and I'll be happy to say hello to you. And then for me to have so many topics within the book that literally every single week I have something to talk to you guys about because it is thus saith God's word and it aids people with different human conditions that we're dealing with. And I was like, how wonderful it is to know that you can ask God for whatever you need and get it. And then to, to just, you know, just a few uh, testimonies, you know, uh, I I moved out of my other home and God gave me the only yes for the, a home that's just 10 times greater than what I could ever expect it. Um, you know, I am going to be able to take care of my mom and my grandmother and have plenty enough space for them to be with me and me, uh, be able to take care of them. So I just wanted to let you know, whatever it is that you're asking God for, he is going to deliver as long as it's good and it's helping someone. There's no reason why he wouldn't deliver, uh, to helping you get that done. So just thank him in advance that it's already getting done and also make moves right now to get that done. And you'd be surprised just like I did tonight. I said, Sharon, stop waiting. Stop waiting on you. Have it all together. Just get on Facebook live. It's eight o'clock. It's Thursday. It's your night. It's all about you time and people are waiting to get information. So don't wait. Just let them know what's going on and let them know the series starts next week. So that way you can tag your friends. You can get them ready. The name of the series again is Thus Saith God's Word. And we're going to be talking about different things that humans, uh, us, we were dealing with throughout the world from alcoholism, addictions, depression, anxiety. We're going to be talking about it all. And we're going to be talking about what Thus Saith the Lord. So... As we are preparing for next week, Thursday at 8 o'clock, the first topic again is going to be on alcohol. So we're going to read about it and uh, discuss it. Hopefully you guys will interact with me on Facebook Live. And uh, let's just see what we can do about healing for 2021. Let's get it done in 2021. Thank you so much. You know, I'm only going to keep you 15 minutes. So these sessions will only be 15 minutes. So go ahead and prepare and subscribe uh, to this particular uh, live so that when I am on, it'll go ahead and uh, tag you and and, and let you know that I'm on. So again, we're going to start a new series for 2021 called Thus Saith God's Word. And I'm excited about it. So I want you guys to have a great night. I will see you next Thursday, eight o'clock. And the topic next Thursday will be on alcohol. Have a great day. And I can't wait until next Thursday at eight o'clock. You are very important to me and to God. And I love you. And there's really nothing you can do about it. (laughs) So I'll see you next Thursday, guys. And thanks so much for tuning in and listening for those of you who did stop by. Have a great night.